Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Current Issues. I'm your host, Hisham Tilawi. Well, ladies and gentlemen, things are getting serious out there on the campaign trail. It's getting serious for us, too. We have, this is probably one of the most important presidential election, probably in the history of the United States, at least in your lifetime. And I think a lot of people are not taking it serious. A lot of people are enjoying the entertainment that you see every night on your TV channels. You're probably going to be upset when this is all over with because the entertainment will be over with. The reason it's serious, ladies and gentlemen, because we really have an exciting and different presidential race going on this time around. You know, it is, um, come to think about it, this is probably, like I said, the most important because, um, you know, it's, it's scary. It's scary. We have a black man running. That's very scary, ladies and gentlemen. For the first time, we might have a black president in the country. Just think about that. Nightmare on Elm Street. How did this happen? How could we get a black man all the way, one step away from being the president? He's black, for God's sake. Unbelievable. Aren't you scared? I am. You can call us and uh, discuss this with us. Uh, we will put the phone number on. And uh, if you're outraged by my statement, it's okay, no problem. You know, we, we are used to it, uh, or at least you're used to it, on this uh, TV station and other TV stations. Actually, it, the outrage is uh, even on mainstream media right now. You know, is it a war? between the candidates that anything is permissible. Now you do know, even in real war, there are certain things that you cannot do. There are certain weapons that you cannot use. But it looks like in, the, in this election that all weapons are wide open for the Republicans. Is it? When when does it stop, ladies and gentlemen? And what is permissible? Is calling Barack Obama a terrorist permissible? Is calling him a Muslim, and supposedly it's supposed to spook everybody? If he was, and he's not, but they're using that weapon. Is it okay to use that weapon? Now, if he had any Jewish background or ancestry, I guarantee you they will not be talking about, oh, he has a Jewish background. He's a Jew, you know that? Is everything permissible? Calling him a terrorist, calling for someone to kill him, is that permissible? Because it did happen in Sarah Palin's, uh, McCain's rallies, it did. Now, where did all that come from? And the latest thing, ladies and gentlemen, and this is what the program tonight is all about. It's the latest thing that happened. When at, at John McCain's rally a couple of days ago, an old woman, a 75-year-old woman, she got on the microphone, and we're going to show you the clip in a little bit, but she got on the microphone and she said, that she was very concerned and she was very scared and that John McCain, he's an, I mean, uh, Barack Obama, she was talking to John McCain, that Barack Obama, he's an Arab, you know, he's an Arab. She said that. And John McCain, the next president of the United States, because you know, the other one is black, okay? So the next president of the United States, John McCain, the man who's supposed to unite 
I'll tell you what, if John McCain becomes the president, you will see what the United States is going to turn into. This man is going to divide this United States in a way you never see him before if he's elected. But you know what? The other one is a black man. Okay? This woman, she said, talking about Barack Obama, she's so scared because he's an Arab. And John McCain grabs that mic from this old woman and says, No, ma'am. No, ma'am. He is a decent family man. Talking about Barack Obama, that's, you know, John McCain in defense of Barack Obama because this woman called him an Arab. How could she? So he grabs, John McCain grabs the mic and goes, No, ma'am. No, ma'am. He's a decent family man, a citizen. As if Arabs are not decent family men. They're not citizens. This is the next president of the United States. Uh, believe in, I can't trust Obama. I, got I, I have read about him, and he's not, he's not, he's a, um, he's an Arab. He is not. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, no ma'am. No, ma no, ma no, ma he's a, he's a, he's a decent family man, citizen that I just happen to have disagreements with on, on fundamental issues. And that's what this campaign is all about. He's not. Thank you. An Arab became synonymous with something that you're supposed to be scared of? They called him a terrorist. They called him a traitor. They called him a Muslim. They called him Hussein. And every time they use that name, you know where they're going. Of course, it is his middle name. But when you say Hussein, memories goes back to the butcher of Baghdad. Hussein, Saddam, Hussein, Obama, Osama. Shouldn't this be under this act, the hate crime act that was passed by Congress not long ago? Shouldn't all these speeches by Sarah Palin and John McCain when he questions, we need to know the real, who really is Barack Obama, the terrorist? What is permissible, ladies and gentlemen? I think somebody should go and arrest these people, Sarah Palin and John McCain, because they are inciting hatred. They're enticing violence. When you do that, when you grab that mic from that woman and you say, no ma'am, as if she said something that people are supposed to be scared of, oh, he's an Arab. No ma'am, he's a decent family man. I forgot. That's only for, that's not for Arabs. Arabs can't be decent family men. They can't be Americans. A citizen, as if an Arab is not a citizen, well, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to show you some American Arabs who you probably knew them, but you never knew they were Arabs. And you will be shocked and surprised of who is an Arab. And they're all good people. They're all good people. They're just people like you who want to raise their families all over the world, wherever they are. They're family people. Arabs are well known to be family people. <laughs> decent family people and citizens anyway